Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com. We're going to take a look at how to create these CDs in Photoshop. It's pretty easy and fast, uh, a little graphic to be able to create. So let's jump right in and get started. I'm going to go ahead and bring back the Photoshop interface and I'm going to create a brand new document by going File, New. I'm going to name this document Colored CD and I'm going to set the width to 1280 and the height to 720. Hit OK. Once we've done that, we just want to go ahead and fill the background with kind of a dark gray. So I'm going to select my foreground swatch there, and let's just go with three, 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 just all a bunch of threes. Hit OK. Hit Alt Backspace Option Return on the Mac to fill that with a very dark gray. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go Filter, Render, Lighting Effects. We're just going to quickly apply a little effect here. I'm going to drag this to this little line. There's a little anchor handle at the end of that. I'm going to drag that all the way up to the top above my document, right about there. So we have about uh, maybe an egg shape. Then I'm going to pull outward on the two sides, and there we go. We're going to have a nice sort of a darkened corner effect. Hit OK. Very nice. And we just want to add a little bit of noise to this, give a little bit of grain and texture to this background. Go filter, noise, add noise. And we're going to add 2% noise. Distribution can really be uniform or Gaussian. And we're going to uncheck monochromatic. We're going to introduce just a very, very slight bit of color. Go ahead and hit OK. Now that we've done that, grab your ellipse tool. It's right here. The hotkey is selected as U. However, the default selection is the rectangle tool. So you just have to click down and hold on that tool and then grab the ellipse tool. Once you've done that, check out your tool options bar up here and just make sure that you're drawing shape layers. The color of the layer doesn't matter. We're going to change that later on using layer styles. So I'm going to hold down my shift key and I'm going to drag out a big old uh, ellipse just like that. Again, the color doesn't really matter. I'm going to grab my move tool and I'm just going to shift it a little bit closer to the center of my document like so. Now that we've done that, we want to cut out the center of the shape because again, we're creating the CD. So we need to just chop out the center so we can drop in a different graphic uh, later. So here's what we want to do. Grab your path selection tool. The hotkey is A, not the direct selection tool. It's the path selection tool and it's the black arrow. So Go ahead and select the path. Once you've done that, hit Command or Control C to copy the path and then hit Command or Control V to paste it. It doesn't look like anything's happened, but we do have a second path pasted in there. So what we want this path to do is cut a hole in the path beneath it. So again, check out your tool options bar, and we have the subtract from path area icon. The hotkey for that is just the, the button minus. So go ahead and hit minus, and you can see it's just making everything disappear because we're saying, hey, cut out anything that this shape is covering, and it's covering our entire path underneath. It's the same exact path. So now hit Command or Control T because we want to just make this smaller. We only want it to cut a hole in the center. So Command or Control T brings up your free transform controls. Hold down your Shift and Alt keys. That would be Shift and Option on the Mac. And just drag this path to the center until you've got a nice size circle in the center, about like so. And you can see, commit those changes. And we're just cutting a hole in the center of our CD, essentially creating this nice donut shape. So the next step is going to be to add the layer styles to the CD to really start making it look a little more metallic. So let's actually just rename this layer so we can keep track of it. Let's name it CD Color, just like so. All right, and we're, the first thing we're going to do is go in and add an inner shadow to it. So I'm going to go Layer, Layer Style, Inner Shadow. And this is essentially going to be a highlight that runs along the top of our CD. So uncheck Use Global Light, set the angle to 90 degrees, go Blend Mode Normal, and let's set this to white. Great. Reduce the opacity to something about 30. And we're going to set the distance to 2 and the size to 0. The size is really just the blur of this inner shadow. Great. Now that we've done that, let's go to the gradient overlay. We're going to apply the color afterwards. So gradient overlay. And the important thing here is that we set the style of the gradient to angle. There we go. See that's wrapping the gradient around the CD in that circular uh, pattern. I'm going to open up my gradient editor, and I actually have a gradient that I kind of played with earlier that is metallic. But if you want, pause the video, take a look at this, and try to copy this as closely as you want if you want the exact CD that I'm getting. Or if you're going to jump out and create your own metal gradient, I highly, highly, highly encourage that. Essentially, when you're creating these metal gradients, if you've never done it before, you just want to create light grays next to dark grays. It creates a contrast. We have this dark gray showing up next to a light gray, and it makes it look shiny. It's just how it works. So light grays next to dark grays, and you know, throw a white in there or something that's almost a black, so you get a really dark spot and a really bright spot. Whatever you want to do, just have fun with it. But you can already see our CD is really starting to look metallic. That's great. Now what we need to do is just apply a color overlay. 
Now, this is going to be kind of cool because the way this is going to work is we're essentially going to use a blend mode to color that gradient that we created beneath it. So let's go ahead and create, I don't know, maybe an orange CD, something like that. It doesn't really matter. We can choose any color we like. Go blend mode, multiply. You can see that we're getting sort of the highlights and shadows of that gradient showing through our color, which is amazing. Maybe I'll go with something like a light blue. Uh, that's a little bit too intense, so desaturate that a little bit. If you start to blow out highlights, just desaturate your color a little bit. I don't know. Maybe we'll go with a pink or a very sort of rich pink. That's actually kind of cool. Let's go with that. That looks kind of neat. Hit OK and hit OK. And we now need to duplicate this layer because we need to throw a stroke around the outside of the CD, but also around this inner ring of the CD. So we need to create two separate layers to do that it, because it's just not going to work the way a stroke interacts with uh, your current layer and the way we want our stroke to kind of, we want it to be something that interacts with whatever color CD we create. So all we we'll have to do to change the color of the CD is change the color overlay of this layer. So we're going to put these strokes on separate layers. So we're going to duplicate this layer, Commander Control J, and I'm going to go layer, layer style, clear layer style. Get rid of all those colors and gradients and all that nonsense we put on there. And I'm going to grab my path selection tool. What we want to do is select this inner path and just hit the delete button. Get rid of that. Boom. We're stuck or we're left, excuse me, with just a big round dark gray ellipse. That's exactly what we want. Check out the fill opacity over here in the layers panel. Grab that and just slide it all the way to zero. Great. Back to the color. And what we can do with this layer is apply a layer style to it. We'll see the layer style, but we're not going to see the filled pixels. Great. Layer, layer style, and let's give it a stroke. We're going to set this to a 15 pixel wide stroke, set the position to inside, and then we're just going to leave it as a black stroke and change the opacity to 10%. So now, no matter what color is beneath it, we're just going to have a 10 or 15 pixel, excuse me, band running around the outside of our CD that's going to be a little bit darker. It's going to give it a little bit more depth, a little bit more realism. It's great. I love it. We're going to rename this layer uh, CD Edge. That sounds good to me. Now we're going to select the CD color layer and we're going to duplicate it again. Commander Control J. We're going to drag this up above our CD Edge layer. Let me move my layers panel over here. And let's call this Inner edge. We call it inner stroke, anything like that. Select this vector mask. Again, grab your path selection tool. This time we want to select the outer path. Look, make sure you select the vector mask. Select the outer path and we're going to delete that. All right, now we've got this crazy metallic gradient going on. We're going to get rid of that by simply going layer, layer style, clear layer style. So now we're just left with gray fill. Why is this happening? Well, if you recall, when we cut the hole out of the center of our shape, we set this path to punch a hole into the layer mask instead of just act as a fill shape. So we want this to act as just a shape that's being filled. So you can see up here, we've got it set to subtract from the shape area. If we just tell it to add to the shape area, there we go. We just get a circle that's filled with gray. That's exactly what we want. Again, we're going to reduce the fill opacity to zero, and we're going to give this a stroke. So we're going to go layer, layer style, stroke. And we want to, uh, what we want to do with the stroke, excuse me, is set the size to 20 pixels, make it a little bit larger. We're going to leave the position on the outside because obviously we want this black to interact with our CD. And we're going to change the opacity of this to 20%, so a little bit darker than the outer edge. Go ahead and hit OK. And now we need to create the center plastic or the clear plastic center of our disk. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this inner edge layer. I'm going to go Commander Control J. There we go, Commander Control J. And I'm going to go layer, layer style, clear layer style. Let's get rid of all that uh, junk. And we're going to fill this with white. So I'm going to double click on the color swatch here. Fill it with white, great. What we need to do is we need to punch a hole out of the center of this because the CDs, you have the little hole in the center. So. Make sure we have that vector mask selected. Grab your path selection tool again, select the path. Copy it, Commander Control C. Paste it, Commander Control V. And again, set this to the subtract from path area. It's going to act as our path has disappeared. Remember, we talked about this earlier. Go Commander Control T again, and just resize this down to the middle. Or in this case, actually, I'm just going to set the width and height manually. So I'm going to go 30% for the width and 30% for the height and commit those changes. And you can see we're just punching that hole right in the center of our little shape here. What we're going to do is we're going to reduce the fill of this to, let's try something like 30%. That looks kind of cool. And we want to add an inner shadow to this. So we're going to go layer, layer style, inner shadow. And I'm going to set the blend mode to normal. I'm going to set the color to white. I'm going to set the opacity. We're going to knock it way down. Let's go with 40. Uncheck use global light. Set the angle to 90. 
So at the distance to one, and again, we're getting rid of all that blurring. We want this to be sharp, nice, crisp, sharp edges. So we're going to set the size there to zero. Go ahead and commit those changes. Let's name this layer something creative, maybe something like center clear. It's a clear center. And actually, now that I'm looking at it, let's bump the fill opacity up a little bit. Let's try something like 50. Make it a little bit more noticeable. There we go. That's kind of cool. We're going to duplicate this layer. Command or Control J. And again, we're going to do the old trick layer, layer style, clear those layer styles. It's going to bring our fill back to 100%. It's going to get rid of that inner shadow. That's fine. All we basically want to do is save this center path. So we're going to get rid of the outer path by selecting it. Again, I'm selecting it with my path selection tool and hit delete. Now again, we see this problem that we had before where everything else is filled except our center path. Well, if we recall correctly, all we have to do is hit this little icon. The hotkey for that though is just the plus button. So you can just hit plus and it just flips that right around and fills our path with the white. Great. We can reduce the fill opacity to zero. All we want to do is drop a little inner glow in there. It's essentially going to be the shadow on the inside of the CD or the inner portion of the CD. So we're going to go layer, layer style, and let's choose inner glow. So for this inner glow, we're going to set the blend mode to normal, and we're going to set the opacity something very light. Let's try 15%, and we're going to up the size to about 10, and let's set the color to black, something that's more shadowy. There we go. Hit OK, and let me just deselect that. You can see there's just a little bit of a shadow on the inside there. That's great. Now what we want to do is give the entire CD a shadow. The problem is we only want to see the shadow at the bottom of the CD down here. We don't want to see the shadow in there. So I'm going to duplicate the CD edge layer. It gives me a full circular ellipse shape. Command or Control J and I'm going to double click and name it Shadow. I'm also going to go up here to Layer, Layer Style and choose Clear Layer Style. And you can see it's messing all kinds of stuff up. Don't worry about that. Drag the shadow layer down beneath the CD color layer. You can see now we can just see our gray right through the center of the CD. That's fine, because right off the bat, we're going to reduce this fill opacity to zero. It's as if the layer has completely disappeared. Now when we add our drop shadow, we're going to be able to see our drop shadow, but we're not going to see it in the center. It's only going to go around the edge. That's exactly what we want. So let's just add a nice big old drop shadow here of, well, let's uncheck use global length. Let's set the angle to 90. And we can leave the blend mode as multiply. Set the distance to something like 10, and the size to something like 15, maybe even 20. 20 might be a little bit too large. Yeah, we're starting to see it up there at the top, so let's just stick with 15, and let's reduce the opacity down to something like 40. There we go. Hit OK. And just like that, we have created a CD icon in Photoshop. That's all there is to it. So I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you go check out the site. That's www.tutvid.com for more great free video tutorials. Also, make sure you follow Tutvid on Facebook and Twitter at Tutvid. I'll see you guys around.